Hello guys. We are back. Before we move ahead, we would like to thank you all for watching our videos and hoping you have learned a lot on how to prepare yourself for moving to Australia for further education. You have already taken the first steps to discovering yourself and the results will show that it is an easy process which if done with proper guidance will take you to your destination. More importantly, your win is our win. We want you to succeed and your success will be the greatest testimonial we can get. Yo yo am, Momo were confused and not sure what exactly they need to write for an effective statement of purpose for their admission and student visa application. So they started doing a research and summarized all the important points in order to write an effective statement of purpose. Amongst the factors that are taken into account in ascertaining whether the student meets the genuine temporary entrant requirement, the statement of purpose is the most important. Firstly, let us understand what is a statement of purpose? A statement of purpose is a summary of who you are. What do you intend to do when studying in Australia and what are your future goals? Australian University and the Department of Home Affairs would like to know how strong your goals are and if they embody the details you advise them. It is like a speech around thousand words where you need to sell yourself and make the university feel comfortable and prove that you have come here for a reason and how motivated you are to achieve your goals. Moving forward. Let us see what are the things which are needed in order to meet the genuine temporary entrant requirements. Introduction of yourself and your education. You need to begin the statement by introducing yourself and your family. Consider writing your educational background. Duration of your qualifications. Year completed. And your passion or area of interest. You also need to give the achievements you have made during your education starting from your secondary school to the last one you completed. As Australia needs to know your level of English. It is always good to mention your level of English skills such as your previous background or English proficiency test score. Employment history and any gaps. You need to write about this only if you have work experience or have any gaps. Australian institutions and immigration also need to know where you have worked and what positions you have worked for. Enumerate all employers. Their start and finish dates positions you have held and also if there is any gap between employment. This is important. As usually gaps in the employment history are not seen as favorable. If you have any gaps, it is important that you try to fill them by advising if you have done any course or any study during that time. Do put some note where the cause or even things like if you have contributed your time to a charity and worked voluntarily for that organization. This will assist you and the university will take it as a positive thing that you are not idle but you were always doing something which kept you busy. Financial assistance. In this section, you need to state who will finance your education. Is it going to be your parents or a loan from a bank or part payment by bank and partly through family? You also need to mention your family income. You need to ensure the information supplied here matches the documents. Avoid advising that you find work in Australia and then arrange to make payment of your fees. If you have any close relatives residing in Australia, you should also consider writing about them and if you are expecting any financial support from them. That's it for now. Friends, stay tuned for the part 2. We encourage you to watch and share this information to as many students as possible. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To be continued.